Hey there, welcome back to AI Code King. Today, we'll be talking about how you can create front end UIs through AI with Screenshot to Code. Screenshot to Code is an open source project that allows you to generate front end code with the help of AI. With this, you can basically drop in a screenshot and generate a similar looking replica of it. It also gives you more flexibility with the generated code because you can generate the code in HTML, Tailwind, React Tailwind, Vue Tailwind, Bootstrap, Ionic Tailwind, and SVG. It officially supports GPT-40, GPT-4 Turbo, and GPT-4 Vision. It also supports Claude 3 Sonnet and DAL E3 for image generation. But if you know me, you'll know that I don't use these APIs and I prefer Olama instead because of its local and privacy-friendly nature. So, I'll be telling you how you can set it up with Olama and the Lava model as well. Anyway, it has multiple other features as well. For example, you can record a whole application and it can generate all the pages recorded for you. Although this feature only works if you use Claude 3 Sonnet, you can also use it to convert Figma designs, hand-drawn prototypes, or any similar thing to code as well with this. You can also take in your own code base and ask it for iterations to it, which is pretty cool to say the least. You can see all these changes in real time as well, just like OpenUI. But unlike OpenUI, the code it generates is of far superior quality, which I really like. You can literally use the code it generates on your projects, which is pretty amazing to say the least. Although they say that you can only convert screenshots to code, I'll also be telling you how you can generate things from scratch with this. You can also ask it for iterations to the generated code. And then, when you iterate them, you can also go back to the previous version to check the exact changes, which is pretty cool. With this, you can save a good amount of time and effort in designing and building your front-end UI. Plus, the AI-generated code is often more efficient and optimized than what you would write yourself. Now, that's enough talk. Let me tell you how you can set it up locally with Olama and the Lava model. First, go to Olama's site. Here, you'll see the download button. Click on it then choose your OS and download the setup file. Once downloaded, get it installed. Once it has been installed, go to your terminal and run this command. This will install the Lava model on your Olama server. Once done, send a message and check if it's working. Okay, it's working fine. Now, come to their GitHub page. Once you're over here, get it cloned on your machine. Once cloned, CD into the cloned directory. Now, come back to the GitHub page. Scroll down, and you'll see this section. Before running these commands, make sure that you have Python and Poetry installed. If you don't have that, get it installed by going to the Python site. Once done, first run this CD command. This will change your directory to the backend directory. Now, run this command, which will create the NV file. Then, run the poetry install and shell command. Now, run the last command, which will start the backend server. Now, we'll also need to run the frontend server. But before that, we'll need to do some config to make it work with Olama. First, open up another terminal window, and then cd into the frontend folder. Once done, go to the src folder, then go to the lib folder. Now, Edit this model TypeScript file, and on the line 4, you'll see the GPT-40 model specifications. Now, over here, we are going to make the GPT-40 model actually refer to the Lava model by changing this GPT-40 model name to Lava. Once it looks like this, go ahead and save it. Now, run these commands shown on the GitHub page, and your server should start. Now. Open up the port 5173 on your browser 
and you should see this screen. Now, click on this Settings option, and over here, in the OpenAI Proxy URL, enter the Olima Server URL, which by default should be like this, localhost and port 11434. Once done, in this API key, enter Olima as it's the default API key for Olima's OpenAI-compatible endpoint. Once done, come back and select the GPT-40 option, which is basically the Lava model now, because we have changed its configuration and changed the server URL to Olama. You can also select which type of code you want through the drop-down above the model list. Now, let's give it an image of Wikipedia's homepage, and let's see if it can generate it. Click here and select the screenshot. Now, as soon as you select the screenshot, you can see that it starts generating a similar code to the screenshot. Hmm. Okay, now it's fully generated. It looks pretty cool. Although it's not exactly like the screenshot, but it's still similar. Pretty cool. You can also ask it for some changes through the left sidebar. And over here, you can reset or download the code. You can also check it on different resolutions if needed. You can also check the generated code from here. Now, let's ask it to add a sign-in and sign-up button to it. Hmm. Okay, it's done. Now, you can see the previous version over here on the bottom of the left sidebar. You can click on the previous version and go back to it as well. Pretty amazing. Now, if we come back to the home page, you can see that it also has the recording option. You can click here and record an application and use that as a reference to generate multiple pages. But for that, you need an Anthropic API key, which I don't have. Anyway, next, you can see that you can also import your own code and use that as a reference to make amendments to it. To use it, click on the Import Code option. Then, paste your code here and select your stack. Once done, you'll see a preview of your code here. Now, you can ask it to make changes through the text box at the left sidebar. I have asked it to change it to color green, and as you can see, it does it pretty well. But, if you want to generate UIs from scratch, you can also do one thing, which is, go to the home page and click on the import code option here. Just enter the basic HTML tag and select the stack as HTML over here. If you want to generate codes for React or others, you can put in a boilerplate code here and then click on the Import button. Once done, you'll see this page. Now, go ahead and ask it what you want to generate. I have asked to generate a landing page, and as you can see, it is getting generated. Hmm. Okay, it's generated and looks pretty cool. I must say this is very much better than OpenUI. You can use it to generate almost anything, and you can do it all locally. Pretty amazing, isn't it? The code it generates is also amazing, and the code is actually usable, which is amazing. I think I'll be using it a lot. Let me know if you'll be using it or not in the comments. Also, if you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below this video. Also, Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.